morning, everybody. I wanted to share with you a little bit different way of eating grapefruit or preparing it. I guess it's a better way of saying this. Um, I know some of you don't like grapefruit, but some of us do. And it's, you know, it's an alternative to the orange. Um, depending on what you like, how you like to eat it, you can do cut this into wedges, peel it, eat it like an orange, eat it like a traditional grapefruit, whatever. Um, if you eat grapefruit, you want a little bit of a different flavor. I know some people put salt on it. This is more of a sweet taste. Um, in restaurants, they take this recipe and they take a little maraschino cherry and they put it in the middle of each. We're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> maraschino cherries are packed full of sugar and if I have maraschino cherries in the house, I will eat them. So, I'm going to take my ruby red grapefruit and I just got a small one. If I get a big one, I'm going to eat the whole thing. And I like to eat my whole grapefruit. So, um, I get smaller grapefruits whenever I can just because if I cut it, I'm going to eat it all. And mm, you really want to try and just eat one, one medium one, something that can fit in your hand. This is how much of a serving size you should have. Um, if you get one of the larger ones, you know only half the grapefruit fits in your hand, um, even extending out the way that it is. So, take it so that the ends are on opposite sides, fingers out of the way of the knife, we've already had that experience, and then just cut it straight down. I use a big knife just because it's easier. Um, you can go in and just take out some of these big seeds, they really don't have any effect on you, or on this recipe at all. Um, as you can see, my little honey jar, there's not much left in it. So I'm going to take some of this. We're going to put some honey, just a little bit, just like that. A little bit on each side. There we go. Okay, so now that we've dribbled it all over the place, um, get a one of our little plastic knives. That's good. And we just spread, spread your honey around the top, okay? Like I said, you really don't need a much. You're looking at like a teaspoon of honey on each one. And then we're going to take our apple spice, or apple pie seasoning, because it's got cinnamon, nutmeg, and sprinkle it over both tops. Now, take it, shake off the excess, okay, on both. As you know that honey's sticky, so it's going to stick to it. And you're going to take this, and I use a cookie sheet. Here's why. The bottoms of the grapefruit are round. It sits inside of it very nicely. Just like that. Now, we are going to broil this on low for about three to five minutes until the top is kind of a golden brown. Pull it out and eat it. It's it's pretty delicious. I mean, it probably looks kind of weird right now, but you really should try it. Um, it's a good recipe. I'm going to separate these a little bit more evenly on the pan. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like coming, going into the oven. We're going to broil these. We'll be back in five minutes. So here we go. That took about two and a half minutes. If you're looking, I don't know if you can see kind of this glaze that's over the grapefruit. It doesn't cook the grapefruit. All this does is puts a glaze on the top so it soaks into the um, the fruit itself. So when you're eating this you have sugar, you've got some sweet flavor that melts into your mouth. What I usually do with this is I take the grapefruit out, I put it in a bowl and I put it in the refrigerator. I personally, you can see this pan is used a lot, um, but I personally prefer, prefer my grapefruit cold so I will chill this um, get it cold again and then eat it. Um, but see these little pockets in the middle? That's where they put the nice little cherry. So if you really want, you could put a little cherry there. Um, I would highly recommend just eating it plain, no cherry. But your choice. It is morning after all, and we do just want a happy breakfast. Something that's, you know, enjoyable, something that's quick, something that's easy, and something that smells as delicious as, it, as this. I swear, it smells like apple pie in my kitchen right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Try it cold, try it hot, your choice. Um, personally, I'm just not a fan of cooked fruit, so that's why I like it cold. So I'm going to go put these in the refrigerator, and then I'm going to enjoy this in about 20 minutes when it's nice and cold. I will talk with you all tomorrow. I hope you enjoy your treat today.